Good evening, I'm Debbie, and we're keeping it simple with Testa's Pantry. My sister-in-law, Sarah, gave me a wonderful idea for something a little different to try tonight. So it's an Ina Garten recipe, and I've adapted it just a little bit to suit me. Anyways, uh, I'm learning all about wheat berries and farro. Now, I had never heard of wheat berries, but wheat berries are available locally. Uh, I picked them up at Price Chopper over in Latham, actually Market 32, I have to call it. And far out, you can get pretty much anywhere. But wheat berries are a very interesting grain. So it is the whole wheat, um, the, the whole berry of the wheat that hasn't been stripped away. So it's full of nutrients and protein and iron, and it's great for you. And Faro is a great source of protein and fiber. So these two together, so this is a, a wheat berry and farro salad that we're putting together, uh, courtesy, like I said, of Ina Garten. And I think you're gonna really like it. So what we're gonna do, we start with a bowl. Uh, we have to have cooked, the cooked wheat berries and farro. So before you do anything, there's a little bit of pre-prep. You want to cook your wheat berries and your farro according to package directions, or as Ina suggests, you can put uh, three cups of water in uh, each of two saucepans, salt them, and then you cook the wheat berries in one, the farro in the other, because they cook at a little bit of a different uh, time frame. The farro cooks a little sooner. So I have, I have the farro here, and I'm clanging dishes, and so this is the cooked farro. See what it looks like? It almost looks like a pasta, which is, is quite interesting, but it is not. Farro is a grain as well, and like I said, it is just full of nutrients. So while those are cooking, you're going to want to uh, saute a cup of red onion diced. Now, the diced red onion, you're supposed to saute until it is translucent. I'm clanging dishes like crazy here. Translucent. Okay, so this is the wheat berry that's been cooked. All right, we're going to add that to the farro. You want to saute diced red onion, a cup, until it's tra translucent. And I actually cooked it a little bit longer. I want to make it so that a little bit more sweetness comes out because Peter's not crazy about too much onion. So I cooked it until it was almost caramelized. So this is my pan of red onion. Now I sauteed that in two tablespoons of our nocellara. Now I'm going to add another quarter of a cup of nocellara to the pan. Let's see. So our nocellara is from Sicily and it's buttery and it's smooth and it goes well with a variety of different dishes. And it was great for sauteing. So now I'm adding this in the pan. I'm going to mix it all up. So that's where we're doing our dressing. And then a quarter of a cup of our Balsamico di Modena IGP Bronzo. This is the one that's been aged eight to 10 years and it's wonderful for a salad dressing. So it's unusual, but we're using equal parts of extra virgin olive oil and balsamic. And there is a reason for that. It's because we cooked the um, sauteed onions in the olive oil, so it had a little bit in there already. I'm going to add black crushed pepper and because I salted the water so generously for the grains, I am not going to add any more salt. I can always adjust it later. All right, so that's all mixed up. I am going to add this to the farro and the wheat berries. And that smells beautiful. It really does. I cooked the, I cooked the onions just enough. All right, now I'm going to add to that a half of a diced red pepper. So a half of a red pepper. Actually, this is the one that's variegated. It was cool. Uh, so I diced that and three scallions minced. 
all, all parts, and a small carrot diced. We're adding that, and then a quarter of a cup of diced flat leaf parsley. So there we have it. That's it. And I'm going to stir that up. And this is an amazing salad. Now this makes six servings. So what I'll do is I'll bring some to my kids. Why not, right? Look at that. Pretty, isn't it? It's colorful, nourishing, uh, filling, tasty. It just has really good crunch to it. It's a nice salad. I think you're going to really enjoy it. I'm going to serve this tonight with some mussels. You can serve it with chicken. You can bring it to a picnic. It's great for potluck. Anyways, thank you. Enjoy. And Sarah, thank you very much.